So um, that's pretty much it for my overview of Storyboard Pro. I just want to show you a couple of other little um, examples and then I will finish up. So let's take a look at the living room example. I just wanted to uh, pop open basically one frame of the living room to show you how it can be useful um, even when you're doing an interior scene because the other scenes that I was working with were exterior scenes. So if I have my living room selected, if I select it with my transform tool, then you see that I can I can move around and reposition my living room. I can even sort of rotate around my living room. If I want to get a sense of the camera rotating, I can rotate my 3D object instead and it um, gets the same um, idea across. And then, of course, I can also control click or command click on any of these objects to move around the objects in my living room as well. And um, so it's very useful for um, working in interior scenes that you don't want to have to redraw from different angles. And um, so finally, let's take a look at some examples of projects that have been done uh, using Storyboard Pro. And so uh, this a example... Long time. Ooh, this one has audio. Let me just turn the audio off while I'm talking. Um, so this example uh, was done using Storyboard Pro um, two on the left hand side and then we've got a 3D animated film on the right hand side and so what's nice about this is just to show you how um, how you can do your storyboarding project whether you're doing a 2D project or whether you're doing a 3D project um, and in the case of if you're doing a 3D project it's much better to go with Storyboard Pro 3D because then you can import in your 3D elements that you've already worked with or are done and, um, and reuse them in your storyboard project to save you time um, so that's basically what I wanted to show you on that one. Now let's look at another example. This is uh, just a comparison example from the um, show Vie de Cartier that I was just showing you guys a, a moment ago the storyboard from. And so um, it's from the same scene that I had in that storyboard project a moment ago and you can see on the left hand side the preview of what the project looks like and on the right hand side what the final project looks like. So just a couple of quick scenes there. And so lastly, let's just look at a, a final render of what that scene looked like from the storyboard project. And so in this case, I've added a couple of other scenes in, into uh, the storyboard project that I didn't show you from, uh, from when I was in there. And once it gets past the title screen, then we'll be able to see the, the rest of it here. Let me see if I can turn on audio on this one. <laughs> end up in the yard. It was a wish from my genie. Have you started a little side business in theme park rides? I've got nothing to do with this. I said it was from my genie. Why do you believe me when I tell you lies, but you don't believe me when I tell the truth? Genie, come out of the lamp. Oh, he's so cute. And naive. No, he's just dumb. Come on out. Oh, to shave in peace without having to make stupid wishes come true. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching my Storyboard Pro 3D demo. And um, hopefully this has gotten you excited about what we're doing in terms of our product launches. And um, if you want more information, then you can go either to the website, toonboom.com. Uh, you can email sales at toonboom.com. And uh, for technical questions or um, anything like, th like that, then you can go ahead and email support at toonboom.com if you've already purchased Storyboard Pro 3D and you're having issues. Um, also be aware that we have the forums on the website um, that you can go to the Storyboard Pro forums and any questions that you ask regarding Storyboard Pro 3D will be answered there as well. So that's it. Thank you.